Um, hello, um, good morning. I'm Sarah from uh, this EBI, and I work on the Identifies Total project. Uh, in the last few months, I've been um, working on developing serv new services to uh, support the semantic web community. So, in the first half of the presentation, I'll just quickly give you an overview of the Identifies Total project, and then I'll, I'll speak a bit more about uh, the few features that. Uh, I'll be developing to support the semantic web community. Um, the main aim of the Identifies uh, Total project is to provide stable, unique, resolvable URIs. And it is a community driven project, so all the resources that we have are, are used by someone and it, it, is to, it, it is there because someone requested it. And it is free to use, so you can um, ask for more resources to be added, or you could just use Identifies to do existing URIs. Um, we have about um, over 500 curated data collections in our registry, and these are not automatically uh, extracted from any of the resources. Uh, this is done by a curator um, in the Identifies to Talk project, and we have we have almost uh, all the widely used um, resources in our registry. And you can uh, access the Identifies at All registry from uh, the link below. Um, for each of the data collections, we store a bit more information about it. So, for example, if you take NCBI taxonomy, we uh, store the name. Uh, description, the identifier pattern, um, you know, which is used to extract information. And each of the collection, uh, we have a namespace, which is a short string for for NCBI taxonomy. It's a taxonomy, and we store uh, different URI schemes that are available, and we store the individual resources that you could use to access. Uh, um, content about this uh, collection. So for each resource we store uh, a short description about it and access URI, the web, uh, 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 website and also if there's a primary resource for example for NCBI taxonomy, it's NCBI, we also store that information in our registry. So how do we create these unique um, URIs? So Let's go back. To, let's take the same example. Homo sapiens in taxonomy 9606. Um, taxonomy is the data collection, and the identifier and is number is the entity identifier. So, how do we create our uh, unique URIs? Data collection, we have a namespace, in this case, it's the taxonomy, and it's identifies to dog slash taxonomy slash the identifier. So, the identifier comes from the database, but we don't generate it, we have the identifier pattern in our registry and uh, when you request it, it will just redirect to uh, the, the, the identifier. Um, so how do we make them resolvable? Um, the, so this URI identify the, uh, the entity homo sapiens in the data collection, the original data collection. And then we have info subdomain, which identifies the registry record of this concept. And then the info.
Uh, the idea is at some point you can go ivfs.org slash taxonomy number dot rdf. It will give you rdf for the entity. At the moment, the rdf is returned for info, and that rdf is actually the rdf for the registry, not for the actual entity. So this is not provided. The have this information, but now we are adding all this information, so the idea is you will be able to get RDF using identifiers to do URIs as well. Um, after all this, um, we figured we only have one curator at the moment trying to do everything, and um, it is a bit difficult to do it ourselves, so we are trying to uh, open, the, open the registry up to the community so people can do it themselves. So I am work, uh, I've got some of these features in my, in my development server at the moment. It will be on uh, production servers hopefully by the end of the year. So once that's done, you'll be able to use, log in using your Google or Yahoo accounts. And then you have to request or, or um, um, request for um, access uh, for, for each resource and once you've been granted access you can change any of the uh, content for, for a particular resource so you can change the access URLs or you could uh, add more information uh, about the content and add the different types of formats that you support etc. And we also um, allow people to create profiles uh, in this new version. So that means uh, you could um, set a profile so that people <coughs> using Antifaz at all, you could go to your own page. So for example, uh, if you take BioDRDF and you can have a profile called BioDRDF and you add uh, all the resources and, and you say you want to ask, go to BioDRDF, not to the default one that you, we pick for you. So. In your core, in your uh, links, you could say identify the all, public uh, number profile equals by RDF, and it will go straight by to RDF <coughs> rather than going to into our own default uh, uh, PubMed uh, page. So we hope that will be useful. Um, please do get involved. Um, I'm mainly here to get um, request. Uh, so that for the next year or so uh, we know what to do, what's useful for the community. Um, so the supporting knowledge has been there and the discussion mailing list uh, it is uh, not very active but please do get in touch and you can submit your request using this link there. Um, I would like to acknowledge my team and uh, Nick especially for doing the curation work. So I do the development, he does the testing and adding information to the registry. Um, and also thanks for the funders. And if you want to get in touch, you can use my email as well. Thank you.